In this video, you will learn 11 plus non-verbal reasoning type 3. Complete the series. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Before we start the questions, let's first look at snaps. S stands for shape. Are the shapes the same or different? N stands for number. How many of the same shapes are there? A stands for angle. At which angle is the shape rotated? P stands for position. How does the position of a shape change? S stands for size. Does the size of a shape change? And finally, S stands for shading. Does the shading pattern or the color of a shape change? In the question we have right here, there is a series and this series follows a pattern. And we will have to find the pattern. And once the pattern is found, we need to apply the pattern to get our answer. So let's get started with this question. For this example, we're going to once again use snaps. So firstly, we are going to look at the shapes. In terms of the shapes, we have a diamond and we have a circle and no new shapes are introduced. That means it will not work. So shapes does not work and we can cross it off. Let's move on to number. In terms of number, we have the same number of shapes for all of them, which is two. We have one circle and one diamond and this means no new shapes are introduced and number doesn't increase or decrease. So this means number doesn't work either since nothing changes. In terms of angle, there is no angle because none of the shapes are rotated. For example, this diamond is not rotated to become this diamond and this circle has not been rotated to become this circle. Since nothing has been rotated, angle doesn't work either. In terms of position, if you look at the black circle, it moves one position every time clockwise. So from here, it moves up to come here and then from here it moves to the right and then in the third diagram it moves down so if it continues like this in the fourth diagram it must go to the left so this means on the next diagram our circle must be to the bottom left corner so we can cross off any of the options in which the circle is not at the bottom left corner for example a c and d only b and e they have the circle in the bottom left corner so this means position works. So let's move on to size. In terms of size, the size changes for the diamond. So from being small, it gets large and then small and large. If you continue the pattern, it must get smaller next time. Out of B and E, which one of the diamond is smallest? It's obviously E. This means our answer to this question is E. So I hope you guys understood everything so far. Now let's go on to the next one. For this example, we're going to use snaps to help us. First thing we are going to look at is going to be shapes. In terms of shapes, we have a square and we have a line. And this means no new shapes are introduced. So shapes does not work and can cross it off. So shapes does not work. Let's move on to number. In terms of number, we have two shapes. We have a square and a line and the number doesn't change either throughout. So this means number doesn't work either and we can cross it off. So let's move on to angle now. In terms of angle, there is no angle because there is no rotation. For example, this square hasn't been rotated to become this square and this line hasn't been rotated to become this line. So angle doesn't work either and we can cross it off. So let's move on to position. In terms of position, if you look at the line, it changes position every time. So from over to the top left, it moves to the top right and then it moves to the bottom right, moves to the bottom left. If it continues like this, it should move to the top left. So right here. So this means we're going to cross off all of the options in which the line is not at the top left. So let's cross off A, we can cross off B, and we can cross off E. So we are left with C and D. So the next thing we're going to look at is going to be size, but before we do that, let's tick position. So in terms of size, we have the shapes going like this. So from square, it goes to a smaller one, goes smaller and smaller. So the square gets smaller and smaller. So if it continues like this, this square would only get smaller. The only options we have are C and D, and if you look at C, the square is very large. It's larger than this one. So that means C will not work and we can cross it off. This means we are only left with one of the option, which is D. So this means our answer to this question is D. Now to learn more non-verbal reasoning types, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous type, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.